Well, last year, more than 5,000 people in Wisconsin reported being sexually assaulted. A quarter of those led to felony cases being opened in court. In Columbia County, one woman is waiting for her case to even make it that far. Amy Reed shares her story and what it shows for what's going right in the system and what work still needs to be done. We want to warn you, some of the details in the story may be triggering for anyone who's experienced sexual assault. Some things in life, in a small town, never seem to change. For some, it's not always a good thing. I opened the door and the person dragged me by my arms <clears throat> into the forest part. Sometimes it's the not changing, the memories not fading. I had blood all over me, on my pants and my shirt, and he had stuck objects up me too as well, which they could have gotten evidence off of. When our victim was raped, she knew exactly what the system was set up for her to do. Call police, get a rape kit at the hospital, go to trial, get a conviction, move on, or at least try. Even if the person was arrested, I'll never get that back. Something's taken from you. Last year, thousands in Wisconsin were in her same situation, dealing with the aftermath of a sexual assault. From the investigation on, getting the crime solved is difficult. All the sexual assault cases are looked at like any other investigation. So you have to make sure that you go down every avenue possible to rule people in or out as suspects. Captain Jason Kachevsky oversees detectives at the Columbia County Sheriff's Department. Though the process is similar to other violent crime investigations, he says sexual assault is different. It's very difficult for a victim in a sexual assault to sit and talk to a complete stranger about a traumatic event that has happened to them. So they're, they're time consuming. Other limitations come from staffing and resources. Last year, his team of six detectives handled 86 sexual assaults. Though they're trained on how to conduct these sensitive interviews, they get no specialized training for handling sexual assault investigations. Victims can be left feeling in the dark. I feel like there's more important things for them to work on. So that's what they're making you feel. That is, yes. With our victim, Columbia County said they've interviewed and gathered the evidence they can, waiting on the next step to come through. We're dealing with mixtures of cells, mixtures of bodily fluids that are exchanged. And it's a little bit like a puzzle where you're trying to sort out and get at the DNA of interest. Evidence found at the crime scene is often brought to the state crime lab in Madison. Analysts pull DNA from whatever police has dropped in their care. I'm a forensic scientist supervisor at the crime lab. Daniel Campbell did that work for 17 years. The complexity of sexual assault evidence made it his preferred to analyze. The evidence kind of dictates what we do, but we're we're faced with challenges um, just based on the evidence itself that's presented and you don't necessarily know what sometimes those challenges will be until you get into working the evidence. Since starting at the lab, he's seen technology grow and improve to a point where results can be found with a high 99% certainty of a match that can be stored in a database for decades. He's also seen policy change, like a recent law meant to prevent a backlog of rape kits needing to be tested that's grown in Wisconsin. But he'll point out, all that won't necessarily bring a victim justice. That's really the limit of what the crime lab does. We talk about whether the DNA is present, does it match a particular person, but we're really not asserting that a particular this particular person committed a crime. That's the job of the courts and the law. That's the next step in the system. The system, our victim knew to follow. But as time has passed, the DNA hasn't created a map anywhere. No match to someone in the system. No answers to her case for law enforcement. Of the next steps. I kind of have. She's not sure. Told myself that there aren't going to be, so I personally have to figure out a way how I'm going to deal with it and go on. I'm not quite there yet, but each day is different. The people we've met so far tell me this isn't rare. Sometimes DNA doesn't match for years. And if it does, the way forward is still hard. 
In Dane County, the district attorney's office has kept track of how cases have progressed through the system if they get to this level. And more often than not, they don't. Of the more than 5,000 reported sexual assaults in Wisconsin in 2018, about 1,200 led to a felony case being opened in court. In Dane County, the district attorney declined to move forward with an average of 43% of cases referred to him over the past 10 years. The county's top prosecutor said a big roadblock is victims not feeling comfortable going through the trial. Victims see what happens in a courtroom and they understand how hard it is to reveal that most vulnerable time when they were violated and do that in a public forum. Ozan also pushes for more awareness and education on sexual assault, people needing to trust victims and understand consent. He said the conversation needs to continue. I think we really need to be talking about trauma. We need to talk about the impacts of trauma on memory, on recollection. We need to talk about um, you know, why it is that we may not want to believe a victim. It's a push our victim wants too. Despite her pain, while she waits, it's what works for her now. She said it's the best advice she can give. The last thing you want to do at first is talk to somebody about it. But you, it's 10 times better if you reach out for help because there are people that want to truly help you. Amy Reed, News 3 Now. There are ways the conversation is changing now in our community. For more on that, head to our website, channel3000.com. And as for our victim, the rapist's DNA is in a national database now. Every new DNA sample law enforcement across the country find, it'll be checked against it. So no matter if it's a week from now, years down the road, they'll be able to find that perpetrator if he gets back in the system.